Welcome to MHB Reviews. I review books and Bibles using high-resolution imaging and professional audio as a supplement to all of the video reviews on YouTube. Today we are looking at the ESV large print Bible with creeds and confessions. This Bible is bound in true tone black. This Bible comes with a lifetime guarantee from Crossway. There's a look at the spine. I love that this Bible comes with raised hubs. These hubs will help protect the gold lettering that is painted on as well as give the Bible a classic appeal. Check out the grain pattern on this true tone. Visually, these true tone covers are getting closer and closer to being indistinguishable from actual leather. This Bible is perimeter stitched. True tone is soft to the touch and quite durable. Older synthetic covers had a bad reputation for flaking apart, but modern True Tone by Crossway is an advanced material that is going to last you a really long time. Here you can see the gold gilded page edges. This Bible is not art gilded, so you won't have the red under gold, but the gilding on this edition is very nice for the price point. Another look at the gilding. This Bible has black and yellow head and tail bands, and it comes with two black ribbons. 6.5 inches wide. 9.5 inches tall. 1.5 inches thick. There's the back of the cover. It's nice and blank. No gold markings here. This is the box that it comes in. The spine of the box. This Bible comes with a lifetime guarantee supported by Crossway. There's the ISBN. The top of the box. There's the Bible inside the box. You can see it's a slipcase, which is very elegant for a Bible this price. This Bible has a paste down paper liner. It's well executed, but I prefer polymer or plastic liners over paper. If this Bible would have come with something like a plastic liner, it would have been an improvement. There's your corner work. Very nicely done. You can see that it's pleated, which I like better than corners that are cut and glued. There are three blank pages at the front. These pages have a little bit of a glossy coating, so you might have to let your ink dry if you write on them. Presentation page. All of your presentation pages are on a thicker cardstock that is somewhat glossy. This Bible is Smythe sewn, so you can see the stitching here. There are seven courses of stitching. Marriages. Births and adoptions. And deaths. There's your first title page. Second title page. This is the 2016 edition of the English Standard Version. This Bible was printed in China, but I wouldn't let that scare you. The quality of this edition is very nice, and nothing about it feels cheap. Here is your table of contents. Books of the Bible in alphabetical order. A preface to the English Standard Version. The ESV translation philosophy is essentially literal. This means it aims to be a word-for-word -word translation of the original languages. I think the ESV is a reliable, precise translation that is excellent for reading and scholarship. The preface includes translation principles and style. The translation of specialized terms. Textual basis and resources. Textual footnotes, the publishing team. And a brief salutation. Next we have an explanation of the features included in this edition. This Bible comes with section headings as well as an extensive reference suite. I really like the ESV cross-reference system. Most ESV reference suites contain more than 80,000 references, which are very helpful for deeper study and interpretation. They tell you how to use the cross-reference system, and they go over the different types of references included in the text. The ESV includes textual footnotes throughout to give you insight into translator decisions as well as to help you understand the meaning of the Hebrew and Greek. This Bible comes with creeds and confessions. 
Creeds and confessions are like written summaries of the Christian faith. They are statements of doctrine and belief framed by some of the most well-known theologians in history. They're very helpful to give you an overview of what each mainline Protestant denomination believes. I think it's a good idea to become familiar with the creeds and confessions because it will prevent you from going too far astray in your biblical interpretation. We'll look briefly at each of these once we get to the back of the Bible. This Bible also comes with full-color maps in the back. We arrive at the Old Testament. This is a large font. It looks like an 11-point font to me. It's crisp and it's readable. You can see a slight sheen on the page. I don't think it's shiny enough to be a distraction. Your reference suite is in the bottom right corner of each page. Your current verse is listed in bold, which makes this reference suite easy to use. There's another look at the font. This Bible is in double column paragraph format. Notice how your verse numbers are in bold so it's easier to pick them out. This Bible does not stay open on its own at Genesis. It's a stiff binding, but I would expect as much for the price. Your section headings and chapter numbers are in black. Page numbers and locations are at the top of each page. There are textual footnotes at the bottom of each page. Notice that most of the pages in this Bible are stuck together when you first receive it. This isn't much of a problem though because they come apart easily and the risk of tearing is minimal. Book titles begin on a new page, which I'm very happy about. Notice the curling of the pages. I don't exactly know why this is happening on this edition, but I can tell you that the paper is very good quality. I think it has something to do with the pages being stuck together since the Bible is brand new and unused. As soon as you break it in, I suspect these ruffles in the pages will go away. You can see that the Bible does not have a curve in the spine when opened flat at the middle. This Bible feels very sturdy and durable to me. Here's a look at the Psalms. I have to tell you guys, Crossway did an excellent job with this paper and this typeface. Look how opaque it is for such an inexpensive edition. Combine the opacity with the perfect line matching, and this text is a pleasure to read. Dark, clear font with little to no distractions coming through. There's another look at the reference suite. I love how extensive the reference system is in this edition. The text is a little bit closer to the gutter than I prefer, but I can still see everything easily enough. You don't have much in the way of margins, but that's okay considering they fit a large print text, full concordance, and creeds and confessions all into a Bible that is nicely portable. Here you can see the signatures of the Smithstone binding. A signature is 64 pages sewn together. Smithstone bindings will last a really long time and are far more durable than glued books. The words of Christ are in black. I prefer black letter texts over red letter, so I'm very happy to see this. I love the way Crossway set up the book titles and the font they used. It looks timeless and classy. At the back you have your table of weights and measures. A full concordance with more than 2,400 word entries and nearly 10,000 scripture references. Here's the entry for God, just to give you an idea. And now we come to the creeds and confessions. As you can see, there's a ton of good information here. Here is the table of contents for the creeds and confessions. First we have an introduction. The Apostles' Creed. I love what Crossway did here. They provide introductions to each creed and confession to help you understand the historical background as well as what they are about. The Nicene Creed, and they include footnotes to clarify important terms. The Chalcedonian Definition, the Augsburg Confession. I just want to show you again how they include an introduction to each of these documents. They separate the introduction with that solid line. This is the font that each of the creeds and confessions are printed in. It's crisp and readable. 
you can see all of the information these documents provide. The creeds and confessions are not line matched, but the print is dark enough and the paper is opaque enough that it doesn't matter. The Belgic Confession. The 39 Articles of Religion. The Canons of Dort. The Westminster Confession of Faith. The London Baptist Confession. The Heidelberg Catechism. The Westminster Larger Catechism. The Westminster Shorter Catechism. And the entire book ends at page 1408. And then you have eight full color maps at the back. These maps are on a thicker cardstock that is only slightly glossy. There are two blank pages behind the maps. There's the paper liner at the back. Here is a comparison to Thomas Nelson's large print thin line in their Premier Collection. I'm just amazed that Crossway could fit all of that material in a binding that is not much thicker than a thin line. And it's not like we have to make major sacrifices to get those dimensions either. The paper is good and opaque, the typeface is large and readable. They just did a really excellent job on this. That's Crossway's true tone next to Thomas Nelson's goatskin. I think Thomas Nelson is binding their premier collection in some of the most fantastic covers you can find. But look how good the true tone looks. It looks so close to leather that I'm really impressed. Right now you can find this Bible on Amazon for about $37. You need to go buy it. The quality is better than anything I've ever seen at this price point. My only real issue with this edition is the paper liner. If they had used plastic or polymer, then this Bible would have been nearly perfect for what it is. Having the creeds and confessions at the back of this Bible is going to be very useful for you. It's likely that your pastor was trained in some or all of these documents in seminary. If you become familiar with them, then they'll help you in your greater understanding of the Christian faith and allow you to spot potential heresies. If you enjoyed this review, please remember to like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out the MHB podcast. Thank you all for joining me, and I will see you in the next review.